Today on the Logical Lowdown, because I've been sick for the last few days, phlegm! Today we discuss phlegm. Phlegm is the sticky fluid secreted by the mucous membranes in humans and other animals. Its definition is limited to the mucus produced by the respiratory system, excluding that from nasal passages, and particularly that which is expelled by coughing. Sputum. Its composition varies depending on climate, genetics, and the state of one's immune system. It's basically a water-based gel consisting of glycoproteins, which are any class of proteins that have carbohydrate groups attached to the protein or poly pocket no polypeptide chain immunoglobins which are a class of proteins present in the serum and cells of the immune system functioning as antibody and lipids i love saying lipids Lipid, lipid, lipid. And lipids are a derivative of fatty acids that are insoluble in water. Phlegm may be the carrier of larvae of intestinal parasites like hookworm. Bloody sputum can be a symptom of a serious disease, namely tuberculosis or lung cancer, but can also be a symptom of a relatively benign disease such as bronchitis. Usually the sputum of bronchitis will show a lightly bloody streaked sputum, whereas any serious illness will be a larger amount of blood present, and you should seek medical attention. Humorism is an ancient theory that the human body is filled with four basic substances called the four humors, which are held in balance when a person is healthy. It is closely related to the ancient theory of the four elements and states that all diseases and disabilities result from an excess or deficiency in black bile, bile, phlegm, and blood. Hippocrates, an ancient Greek medical doctor, is credited with this theory. Circa about 400 BC, this influenced medical thinking for over 2,000 years until it was finally discredited medically in the 1800s. <coughs> mm. There's some flag up now. I told you I'm sick. <clears throat> so, this is uh, preparing for the show. What I do, what I do normally is I'll, uh, I'll find on, on the internet somewhere, you know, the uh, information that I'll use, my research, if you will. Sometimes I'll go and then print it out in here. It goes in here and it comes out the same place. Right there, you know. I could even scan my balls if if uh if I'm doing a show on my balls. See so we have right here something printing out for tomorrow's show. And because I'm such a good boy, what I like to do Safe paper. Just put this back in here. And print the next page on the back of it, because I'm I'm very uh, very conscious of the environment. Change my values, and there we go. And the next one will come out. Right on the back of that one. It's good to work toward saving the environment. I guess I should just read it off the screen. But that gets kind of difficult. Can't have that now. And then, uh, then I'll usually take my materials and I'll clip them up here where the camera is and 
it acts as some sort of teleprompter, you know. But I have to keep moving the pages uh, manually as uh, I don't have a real teleprompter. <clears throat> so uh, that's basically the long and short of it. There's really not a whole lot else. Um, once I'm ready, I'll go down to the bottom here and I'll, uh, I'll open up the movie program. And then uh, I create my file name. And then I just start shooting, really. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, lowdown on the logical lowdown. So, now I've got my, I'm all loaded up, camera's on, right? There's a camera taking movie of a camera taking movie. Crazy. And then here's my faux teleprompter. And I'm ready to go. So it goes a little something like this. Today on the Logical Lowdown, because I've been sick for the last few days, I will... Meh. That's called an outtake. Phlegm. Today we discuss phlegm. That's take one. I will... Meh. That's called an outtake. Discredited. <coughs> by the respiratory...